This is our 2013 Honda PCX150. It's a 153 cc fuel injected gasoline single cylinder. It has a top speed of 73 miles per hour and gets about a 100 miles per gallon, 85 to 105. The rest of the video is slow speed stabilized video cuts. I recently wiped it down with some wet wipes. It was in storage for about six months. I topped it off with some stabilized ethanol free gas, topped up the tires with air, it has about 5,000 miles on it. It's amazing, it's a twist and go. It's on its second V belt. I also had Lake City Power Sports install an NYC or CYC aftermarket variator kit in the continually variable transmission. That kit enables faster acceleration, it enables a higher top speed, and it enables something called creep, where if you just leave it idling, it will gently pull you forward, and to come to a complete stop and to disengage the transmission from the engine, you actually have to squeeze the brakes, and then once the RPMs drop to about 720, it disconnects. I installed a small tachometer which is that black block that's located on the upper left hand corner of the front of the bike near the handlebar if you notice that in any of the images that little tachometer you can see the LCD there that reads out the engine speed in revolutions per minute I also installed an Elemento little green clock right there you can see it's 9 o'clock in the morning although that's daylight savings time which is just about to happen it's technically a whole hour before that, according to the biological chronological clock of the current time signature. That's a startup right there in real speed. The rest of the video I shot in slow mo while well, I slowed it down in post and editing. Go ahead and watch the rest free of my chatter. Thanks for watching. I forgot to mention, I installed a Shorei Z7S lithium iron phosphate battery in 2015. These are great because they can last up to 10 years and they don't self-discharge like a lead acid battery. If you're interested in doing that, there are many different lithium iron phosphate batteries to choose from now. They're way better than AGM lead acid batteries. The only caveat is if it's been in storage for more than about 90 days, when you first turn on your machine, your bike, or your motorcycle, leave the ignition switch on for about 10 seconds, maybe 15 or 20. That warms up the chemistry in the battery if you're using lithium iron phosphate, and then hit the crank button. You should be good to go. Safe travels, safe riding. Watch out for the others on the roadway. They're the hazard. If you take the Motor Motorcycle Safety Foundation course and you're a safe rider, the only real hazard you have to watch for are other motorists. Safe, sane riding, brothers and sisters. We're stronger together. Take care of yourself. Thanks again for watching.